Head back out here, out here in our field again. And uh, you know, I've never had any pullouts of this trap, but this year, within two weeks, I've had two pullouts. There's no hair left on the jaws at all. And I'm not really sure what what was in it, other than over here, it's kind of hard to see it in the mud. There's, it looks like a, a pad right here, so I'm gonna say maybe it was a coyote. You can kind of see where he was in this area for a little bit before he finally got out of it. But I'm gonna replace that uh, Sleepy Creek number three with one of my Bridger four cools, inside and outside laminates and jaws, falls out trip pans. You see, all of my coyote traps have a shock spring in the middle. They all come down. To a quick link. Every one of them has the same chain set up. But we're gonna try to see if we can't get something else to come in here and I'm gonna take that trap back and I'm gonna laminate the jaws on it. And I actually thought about doing away with actually I can see right here. Right here's wherever it was it grabbed so it grabbed him right on the corner of his foot. So maybe it was just a bag catch. I've got about 10 of these and you know, I really like them. Never had any problems with them until this year. Maybe I'm just getting bad catches on them. But this is definitely the, the trap that'll be used for them. And hopefully it'll work a little better for us. This is how I do my sets. I kinda come up and see it. It kinda comes up to like a little shelf that my trap sits on. And I mean, it's, it's basically sloped in here, it's sloped in here, and right here is just perfectly flat. So I mean, their natural tendency is to stick the foot right on that pan. I pack everything in really solid, except right here at my levers. It's just loosely thrown over top of it. And I mean, you can see, you step on that trap somewhere else, it ain't gonna move. And that's what you look after. But I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take my gloves, and I'll, I'll dig it out. I'll put a little bit of peat moss around the inside of my jaws only. I'll cover it all back over, and I mean, this set will be done. So I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned, and hopefully we'll get this booger. J-Dub with us, back out here on our coon line. Got old possum. Pretty big old critter. Got him in that Sleepy Creek double long spring. Same, uh, same type of trap I got that mink the other day. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna let him go. He ain't got no use for old possum, but so right here on this creek bank. Got some geese over yonder. And we're gonna let him go. Well, apparently he went up under the bank with him. So there ain't nothing wrong with him. I'm from the dirt road boys and I believe Of campfires, guitars and river swings Got the good life down And if you hang around we could get a little dust on that call Cause I'm a genuine, alumni certified Give you a country time, love to treat you right Wrapped in a blanket tie, sing you to sleep at night Dirt road scholar